Hi there. Just try and wake up for me. Nice and slow. I want you to take your time, relax. We're not in a hurry. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everything is going to be okay. You are in a very safe place. No one here is going to harm you, I promise. Okay? Just take some deep breaths in. I know that this can be a very scary situation to wake up to, but you were probably brought in on someone's recommendation, which is never a good feeling, but it's only because they care about you, and we care about you, okay? And we just want to help you. We just want what's best for you, and we just want to give you some tools that you can use so that you're happy and healthy and don't ever have to see us again, okay? There you go. I know the restraints can be alarming, but I promise you they were just for your safety and ours while you were sedated, okay? I don't want you to feel trapped, and I would be more than happy to remove those for you, okay? My name is Shani. I'm going to be working closely with you, all right? Okay, I know that when people get scared or anxious, we tend to breathe from our chest, which is only going to make it worse, shallow breathing, so I want you to focus on your breath right now, okay? And I want you to breathe from your belly, we're going to work on some belly breathing real quick, okay? Take a deep breath in, hold it, one, Two, three, four, five, and release. Go ahead and again. One, two, three, four, five, and release. Excellent job. Just keep focusing on your breathing for me. Go ahead. You'll feel your heart rate slow down a bit, and you'll become a little more comfortable, okay? Okay. I do have to get some vitals from you, but I'll wait until you're a little more calm. And for now, I'm just going to get some information from you that we need for our systems, and so that we can treat you better, okay? Okay. going to be okay. You don't have to call me doctor. You can just call me Shani. I'll be working closely with you, and I want us to be like friends where you're comfortable with me, okay? I'm here to help you, and I want you to be able to tell me anything so that I can work with you and Make sure that you're feeling better, because I want you to be your happiest and healthiest self, okay? Okay. So, let's get started here. I did receive your chart from your primary physician, but we do just like to double-check the information with you. And normally I'd have you fill this out for me, but since I'm having you focus on your breathing, I don't want to take your attention too much off of that, so I'll write it down for you, okay? Okay. So, can you verify your name for me? Okay. And can you spell it? such a lovely name. Is it a family name? I see. Okay. And what is your gender? Okay, good. It may seem like a silly question, but here I want you to be comfortable and happy, and I want to make sure I'm using the correct pronouns, okay? Okay. So, 
So when is your birthday? Okay. In the year? All right. And your primary physician's name. And are you currently taking, or have you taken in the past, any medications? Okay. And you're taking that currently? And how long have you been taking it? Okay. Have you noticed any side effects or anything that you don't like about the medication? Mm -hmm. Okay. I only ask because I want to make sure that we give you the proper tools to help you, and maybe we have to combine that with something else or try something new altogether. So, just wanted to make sure. Were there any medications you didn't like taking in the past? Mm hmm And have you had any allergies to any medications? Now, do you have any allergies in general that I should know about? Any food allergies, latex? Okay. Okay. And can you verify your phone number? Okay. And who is your emergency contact? And what's your relationship to them? Okay. And their phone number. Excellent, excellent. All right. Now, have you ever seen any specialists? Mm Mm-hmm. And what was it for? Now, I'm going to get into some questions that are a bit more personal, okay? And I want you to be able to tell me exactly how you're feeling. I don't want you to hold anything back. If you hold anything back, it's not going to give me all the tools and information I need to better help you, okay? I promise this is a safe place. No one here is going to judge you. Okay? There's absolutely nothing to be ashamed about. Sometimes life can be very challenging for all of us, and that's what we're here for. Okay? We want to help you. Alright. And if you're feeling hesitant on anything, since this is your intake form and I'm trying to get you to your room and everything like that, I can leave something for now, and we can talk about it later when you're feeling more comfortable, okay? Okay. What would you say the top three stressors are in your life? It can be anything. It doesn't have to be work or family. What are the top three stressors in your life? Okay? There's no right or wrong answer. Is there anything out of those top three that you find ranks higher or lower, or are they all about equal? Okay. Okay. And I know this question can be a little touchy right now. I don't like to ask how you're feeling in this moment when you're first coming in, because I know it's stressed and anxious, but... I do need to ask for this form. So, what would you say your current mood is? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Okay. That's completely understandable. Are you feeling a little more calm? A little? Okay. You're doing an excellent job. Now, have you had any behavioral symptoms that you are aware of, like fatigue, appetite change, maybe racing thoughts, or poor concentration? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Now, let's get into mental health history here. Have you ever been to counseling? Okay. And how long were you in that counseling for? Okay. And what was it for? Okay. Have you ever been hospitalized? And do you have any family history of hospitalization or emotional problems? Okay. Okay. Now, let's see here. Have you had any physical symptoms like headaches, dizziness, maybe any tics or rapid heartbeat? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. And it can be more than those four. That's just some examples. Okay. Have you had any past surgeries? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Now, these next few questions can be a little bit of a trigger warning, so I just want to warn you ahead of time. I'm going to ask, and I'd like you, like I said, to give me as much information as you can. If you're not feeling comfortable right now to answer something, that's okay. I'll try and get it from you a little bit later on, okay? Okay. Now, basically this is just like a risk assessment. Have you had any negative thoughts or anything that's affecting you that you think that we should know? Okay. Like I said, there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's completely normal. People experience this when they're going through different hardships or different walks of life. And that's what we're here for. To help you, okay? A lot of us working here have gone through the same things. And that's why we work here now. Because we know what you're going through and we want to see you happier and healthier, okay? Now, how would you say your nutrition is? Do you have any troubles eating or any concerns? Okay. And how would you say your social support system is? Okay. And how would you say your quality of life is in the moment. Okay. And how is your alcohol use? Okay. And any drugs, like recreationally or smoking? And 
I know this is kind of sudden, so if you don't have anything yet, that's okay. But what would you say your goals for treatment are? Okay. And we can come up with more as we go. This is just for your intake form, okay? Okay. Excellent job. I'm just going to set this down. Okay. So, now that we got that taken care of and out of the way, we can go ahead and get your vitals. How are you feeling? Are you focusing on the breathing still? Good, good. Okay. You're doing an excellent job. I'll just grab your vitals and I'll get those restraints off you and I'll have someone show you to your room, okay? You do get your own room here. We don't have you share a room with someone you don't know. We want you to be comfortable and we find sharing a room doesn't lead to the best results, so we want you to have a safe place that is just your own. All right? Okay. So, let's get started here. I'm just going to sanitize my hands. And is it okay if I get a little close to you? So basically what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to take a look into your eyes since you were sedated. We're going to check your heart rate, your lungs, your blood pressure. And I do have to get a couple samples from you of like a, your blood. I have to draw some blood. You know, I'm always a little sensitive when I say that because I know some people have some fear of needles. Okay, I can use a smaller needle called a butterfly needle. It is less painful, but it does take a little bit longer for us to draw the blood when we do that. Okay, okay, I'll let you decide when we get to that part. But the reason we have to take a couple vials is we just need to test and make sure that you don't have any drugs in your system or anything like that. Make sure there's nothing that you're detoxing from, okay? Okay. And then we'll go ahead and go over like your curriculum and how things are going to be here on a day by day, and we'll get you to your room. Sound good? Okay. Let's get started then. I'm just going to put on some gloves. You said you didn't have a latex allergy, correct? Okay. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to start by taking a look in your eyes. So I have this little pen light here. I'm just going to turn it on, and I'm going to take a look and see how your pupils dilate, okay? Okay. Go ahead and look directly at my nose, and try not to move your head, your neck, or your shoulders. Thank you. Here we go. All right, that looks good. Let's check the next eye here. All right, that looks good too. Okay, I'm just gonna swing it from eye to eye here. Okay, and again. Great, great. Everything looks good. So, I'm going to grab your blood pressure real quick. 
I know it may be a little high, so it's just going to be an introductory reading, and I can get it from you a little bit later on, okay? We'll just double check. So I'm just going to put this around your arm here. Okay. Here we go. I know these can be a little uncomfortable and tight, but it's almost over. That looks good. A little high, but like I said, has to be expected. We'll double check a little later on. Just gotta write that down. Okay. Here. We're just gonna listen to your heart and your lungs here, okay? I do have to get a little close. All right. I'm glad you're feeling comfortable. This is a little cold. <sighs> Hopefully that helps. Here we go. And do those breathing exercises for me. In. In <sighs> out. In. You know. Good, good. Keep that up for me. Your lungs are sounding good. Good, good. Okay. Almost done here. Okay. Excellent. And your heart sounds good as well. Alright. Alright. So. Lastly here, I just need to get a couple of vials of blood, so I'll try and be quick, and as soon as I'm done, I can remove those restraints, and we can kind of go over your day by day, okay? Okay. Now, did you want me to use the butterfly needle, or? Okay. Let's start by... Sanitizing the area. I have this little cotton round and some rubbing alcohol. Okay. Now this may feel a little cold. We're just gonna go right here. There we go. See, it's not so bad. All right. Okay. I have this syringe right here. Okay. And we're just going to fill these little vials right here, okay? As you can see, they're not very big. It shouldn't take us too long. You just need a couple. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. It's just a little pinch. See, it's not so bad, is it? And it fills pretty quickly. We're already done with one. Okay. I'm just going to put on the other one. Okay, and you're doing a great job, sweetie. Go ahead, go ahead, okay. Let me just take that out. 
and we're just going to put a little cotton ball there. And we'll just bandage that real quick. And there we go. That wasn't so bad, was it? You did a great job. All right. Let's go ahead and remove those restraints. So. Yeah, they were just wrist restraints, but they can be, still be a pretty scary thing to wake up to, I know. Thank you so much for being so understanding and calm during this process. There you go. It helps having those off, doesn't it? I know I hate using them, but we have to. We're required just to make sure you're safe when you're sedated, so. All right going to take these off. Now, I have everything I need to start. I'm just going to set this down and we'll quickly go over your day by day and get you to your room, okay? That way you can maybe take a nap or have some quiet time and relax. One second. Okay. Thank you for waiting. So, I have your basic itinerary here to go over with you. So how it works here is we have like a set schedule for you just to make sure you're getting the best use of your time here. So we typically wake everyone up from around 7 a.m. to 9 a.m and you'll get your medications, we'll check your vitals, and you can have some TV time in our common room, okay? We don't allow personal electronics in, like your cell phone, laptop, anything like that, but we do have a lovely common room that has books, puzzles, we have a piano, we have TV, so you can go and socialize with the other people that are here, and you can watch some TV and stuff like that, okay? Okay. At 9 a.m. we do a breakfast. Then from 10 a.m. to about 10.30 we have a group therapy session, okay? And that's typically with a therapist and you can talk to other people in the group about everything that you guys may be experiencing or going through. And that way you can help each other, okay? Okay. At 10.30, you typically meet with your psychiatrist, and that is one-on-one. -on -one. All right. 11 o'clock, we do an educational session. Around 12 p.m., you're going to have lunch. From 1 to 2, we do a quiet time. So here, you can either take a nap, you can do some reading, or maybe you could do, like, a puzzle, something like that. Okay. Around 3 o'clock, we have a psychiatrist-run support group. Just a little bit different, a little bit different take on things. Around 4 p.m., there's some free time. And this is kind of like, you could do what you would like to do. Maybe, like I said, go watch TV. You could probably go for a walk outside if it was approved by your doctor. Anything like that. Okay, 5 p.m. we do dinner. Around like 6 to 7 o'clock, we have like occupational therapy, so arts and crafts or something fun. Okay, and around 8 p.m. we like to do piano or music or something like that. And then 10 o'clock is bedtime, okay? And if you have any questions, feel free to talk to me or anyone else that you may see walking around. We're all happy to help or assist you or anything that you may need, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to have someone take you back to your room now. We'll let you have a couple hours maybe to relax, read if you want to, get familiar with your space, 
You can check out the common room. It is open to you 24-7. You're not stuck to your room here. We want you to feel relaxed and not trapped, okay? We'll give you some change of clothes. We'll give you a few blankets. Anything you may need, okay? All right. Do you have any questions for me so far? No? Okay. Well, it was nice to meet you, and we'll talk again soon, okay? Bye.